Okay, round two. Okay. So I was on the GCG Twitch. And I just said hi to everybody. I'll go over video and everything later. So I just want to read what Brownie sent to me. If you're a free phone call, I have something to say to you. In fact, I'll just post it here. We told you before, the hi was nice. All but you just filled in and tell us something makes us want to embang you. That means no contact with GCG members at all. You aren't coming back as you have done too many wrong things in the past. And until we see anything remotely close to a uh, improvement in you, don't ever come near any JCG streams, Twitters, comments, or PMs ever. That means you or any of those alternative accounts as well, or anything that indicates it's you, you are banned for reasons from both JCG and GA games. So until then, I'm going to be blunt. Back off and leave it. Or if that's too complicated to read, here's the short of it. You're fucked up, and now you're paying for it. So leave us alone, and don't come back until you're an, ac you're an actual man. Is that supposed to be a transphobic statement right there? Like, I... I, I think he's, like, asking the man up. But he knows. Well... I told him before that I was transgender and he was a surprise, so I don't know if he's asking me to do transition or he's asking me to, to like, come up with some example that fits his ex expectations. Uh, it is messed up the way he's he's posting it. I don't know. It, it's, it looks like, um, I'm not gonna, trying to grade anything he says. It looks like... Um, how do I explain it? I messed up comment on YouTube. It's like, what am I supposed to make of this? But I'll just take it as it is. Uh, da, 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 he was gonna call, but then he wanted to post. He wanted to say something. I'll say something to you later on, Brownie. After we have a lot nice long talk from the last time we tried to talk. Twitter comments, PMs, da, da, da. you were banned for reasons from both JCG and GA games. What reasons are they? Do you ever go into details, or do we just want to somehow imply I am in the wrong without ever explaining why? We always want to have doubts about something I did, but we never really explain what caused those doubts. Oh, I did something wrong. Why? You wronged me. What? Details! If you want to keep accusing me, just get right to the evidence. Don't dilly-dally around the same claim you keep making. Ugh. Too many wrongs in the past. Which is? And until we see anything remotely close to a uh, improvement, an grammar brownie, you don't ever come near any JCG streams. So... I come far, I watch it on my live stream. What if I had a friend's computer right next to me and someone was watching JCG? Is that too close for you? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of pushing it there. But in any case, yeah, he is pissed off. You're probably wondering, why the hell is he pissed off? One reason I can come up with is because, well, when I went into Twitter, no, not Twitter, uh, Twitch, stream today just to watch Brian play one of the Wolfenstein games. Said hi to him. And he didn't like that. Because I'm banned. When was the last time I've been in the JCG? Almost two years ago. And they're still holding a grudge against me. So why is it holding a grudge against me? Because Brian is emotionally Compromised. How do I know? Well, I'll show you. Right here. I will present the evidence. Okay, so this part, I believe this is, uh, I might have to post a thing right here, but in any case, um, blah, blah, blah. Volume on. Turn this all the way off. Oh, it's 
Hold on. Alright, I have a transcript on YouTube. Oh, there we go. Save. Which one was it? Okay, shit. Okay, I have uh my messages for Bloodshot. Which one was it called again? Working on next video. Tomorrow behind the scenes. Two Here it is. Okay. That's the video. So, you guys have the time post. Skip to one hour six. So, it was right here when Brownie... Oh, no, Brian... I actually joined in one of Brian's streams like a while back. Like, April of last year. Said hi. And... This is what he had to say. So I posted in the chat. We have a good future in the bottom right. This is the good future. Where animals roam free and everyone's happy. Uh-huh. And we also get some good music. I see you're happy. Get the fuck off this stream. You are not welcome here. Darn it. Please. Leave now. <sighs> I'm doing fine. I was doing fine. Leave now. I... No, Garnet, don't give me that. Don't give me that. You know why you're not welcome here. I, I don't... I don't care. I don't care. On other sh on other servers or mm. other streams, I would ignore you. But you're on my channel, you're on my stream, and you're not welcome here. You know why you're not welcome here. Please. I have a couple ideas. So it's I don't know why it's not showing up here, but I have my drive right here, so I'll show it. Drive recent. Just upload this image to the Google Drive, so it's like a screenshot of my image that was sent. Where is it? I can't look at it. I just shared it on Google Drive. Oh, there we go. Okay. Return file for upload to my drive. Here, it should be up in a second. So, yes. This is what happened. I, I, I don't want to be an asshole, but I need you to leave. Please. So he pauses the screen several times because he notices I'm there. Okay. So, yeah. One look at me, and it sets him right off. Who the hell is that? Why is it not showing up on my drive? The transcript for the chat that I did. Unless it's going to show up later in here. And then I say something again. And then he knows I'm there. He's so pissed off. Because he is so discontent with my existence of, uh, He's pissed off with me because I made fun of him while he was playing Super Mario Run. It was a mobile game like a couple of years ago, Super Mario Run, where he wanted to get Luigi, but he didn't want to pay through the microtransactions, so he wanted to do it the hard way by collecting all these purple toads and whatever, and he was so frustrated with everything. He was frustrated with one of these courses because he was screwing up. He was a diehard Nintendo fan. He was like, I see you're having fun right there. And he, he was pissed off with the game. He, he had some anger going on. And he, he looked at me with his anger. He was like, don't you dare make fun of me. I'm like, okay. And he took it personal because of that one moment. 
I I apologized. He didn't want to accept it. And then I tried to make up for it, but he wouldn't accept the apology because of the fact that he was angry with me. So he's holding on to this grudge in which he he doesn't want to ever forgive. He wants to keep holding this this anger against me. And if he's constantly wanting to not forgive me and he wants to be oversensitive and play the victim card hard, then that's kind of on him. Oh, but you made fun of him. I apologize. Oh, but he was angry. <sighs> he's emotionally compromised. You see it right here. Even right in the end of this stream. I'll even show you. You see you're having fun in Sonic that finally it shows up right here. So I don't know why the comments okay, are. Okay, fine, but I seriously don't know what you're talking about. Of course you don't know what you're talking about, Garnet. You def you never remember any of the shit you do in the past. Oh, I remember. I don't know why you think I don't remember. You never remember any of that. Said hi. I see you like this. How are you doing? I'm actually going to end the stream here, guys. Um, that's all I really wanted to do. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed the process of making that animation. And a little bit of some Sonic, Sonic CD as well. I'm going to exit that out. And yeah. I'm confused because someone wrote Agon Chris. Don't worry about it. It's just something personal that happened. Uh, don't have, you don't have to worry about it. It's perfectly fine. But anyway, um, that's where I'm going to end the stream, guys. Uh, thank, thank you to everybody who showed up. <sighs> he ended his live stream because he was so discontent that I was there. Because he hates my guts so much. I aren't. I try to apologize to Kalal. Kala will accept my apology, but now he won't accept the apology because Brown Brian's not going to accept it. Brian won't accept it because he's too emotionally compromised. He's holding on to this hate on his own. He doesn't want to explain. He wants to accuse me of something, but never let me respond to it. So he he's holding the this blame and shame on me. So something's going on. I hope you guys enjoyed all of the, uh, the animation Fine. stuff that was going on. And honestly, um, hope you enjoyed the Sonic CD as well. Maybe I'll continue it another time, or maybe I'll just play it on Free CD when I'm ready to go back on there. But anyway, folks, this has been Brian, this has been Director Brian, and that's my stream. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye bye. Hope we'll see you next time. Ah! Okay. Brian is emotionally compromised. He sees me, he'll freak out. He did the same thing again today when I was in the Twitch live stream, and he said the exact same thing. When was this? Last year. So, and I, I think the question that some people ask, why the hell would you want to hang out with Brian? Why the hell would you want to hang out with Brownie? Why the hell would you want to be with these people? Because I kind of feel for them. I kind of pity them. Because we're all Will Ryan rejects. And then some people are like, Oh, I don't I don't pity you at all. I don't give two shits. Nobody knows you. Maybe because I know what it was like back in the day where you had to choose between following the group and disregarding yourself. And searching authenticity. When I decided to come out of the closet and be transgender, I searched for authenticity for myself. To be who I was. Which is some sort of fabulous, girly individual. But some people didn't like it because it disturbed them. That's okay. I try to keep it discreet so that nothing gets out of hand. Brian has his own reason for being pissed off at me. Um, he won't let go. I think I've explained this before. And there it is. Is that a flower there? Come on. 
Where's the rest of the transcript? Is it all here? Just a little at the bottom of the paragraph. Am I looking at things wrong, too? I think, maybe? I was on my phone. I somehow managed to get it. Okay, it's not going to go. Never mind. Okay, so. That's one thing right there. Uh, yeah, that's Brian. I want to have a little talk with Brian because I don't like to leave a bad taste in anybody's mouth. I don't want him to constantly hold shit against me and then choose to do so on the basis that he will use his own emotions as a reason for holding a grudge against me. So I don't want this to keep going. If there are problems, I think I have every right to solve it. Because if you are accusing me of being the cause of something, then I have every right to respond to it. If you don't, you don't get to accuse me and to say you have no right of solving it. No, 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 no. You're not, you're not gonna hold the right over me, but give me the responsibility. That, that's just way too one-sided. So I gotta do something about Brownie. Brownie, I'm gonna have a little talk with you because last conversation, I did follow up and played ball with just sitting there and just listening to what you had to say, but somehow, somewhere down the line, you got pissed off anyways halfway through your speech and then decided I screwed up. But you never explain how I screwed up. You just say I do. You never substantiate your claims. <sighs> so, how do I explain this? Brownie, we'll have a little talk. Brian, if you're up for it, calm the hell down. Because you're way too oversensitive for this. You're, you are like a repressed, oversensitive beta male. And I'm just that transgender from... One bitch to another. <sighs> but in any case, we need to start talking, because it's just going to get worse if we never get to the bottom of this. Am I going to try to fix all these problems? Yes. Are you going to keep holding this above me? No. You're not going to hold the problems unless I'm able to solve them. Or you just want to keep having a right. Oh, well. What do I expect out of all this? I don't know. Maybe just... Spending time with everybody, spending time with Brownie, having fun at board games with Kalal, maybe for once getting along with Brian, maybe for once getting along with Will, maybe some, and I know, I know Will doesn't even care about this theme, cathartic resolution. Why do I say catharsis? Because I know he hates that word. process of releasing and thereby providing relief from strong or repressed emotions. Some sort of spiritual healing. Because to me, this is what spiritual healing is. Freedom from repression. Because that's what everybody else is. They're repressed. They don't even, they can't even admit to anything themselves because I kind of see them as like a left-wing group that gets emotionally compromised when someone disagrees with them. That's how I see them. And I, I don't know, maybe I'm trying to figure this out like to work with this small group is to like somehow work with Trump voters maybe it's a political thing maybe it's a cultural thing maybe it's just an individual thing maybe it's me trying to make amends for all these little problems or maybe there's something else to it I don't know but somewhere down the line we got to get to the bottom of this you can't I said this before and I'll say it again you can't keep holding me responsible if you're not going to allow me to solve the problem in the first place. There's no... Oh well. Any, any case, I gotta get going. It's like 1.29 and I'm tired. Brownie will talk in the next few days. I'm gonna let you know. Alright? So in any case, I'll see you guys later. And I gotta sleep right now. Alright? Later.